Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co, and happy Thanksgiving, or post-Thanksgiving, or Black Friday, or Cyber Monday, or whatever it is you're currently, whenever you're watching this video, today or in the future, happy morning to you. Or maybe it's the afternoon. Happy something to you. Let's go ahead and dive into this. This is the monthly series where I take a look at board game upgrades and luxifications. I take a look at various things that will improve your gaming experience in different ways, as well as just improved and upgraded games, which will have a few things here. This is actually going to be a shorter video than usual. And by shorter, I don't mean like shorter. It might be longer than usual. I don't actually know yet. But I only have three things I'm talking about in this video, and one of them I've even shown you before. So that's because I want to give a bit more attention to specific things. Before we dive into that, this video is sponsored by Top Shelf Gamer, and in fact, you can go ahead and check out right now, depending on when right now is for you, but when this video goes up, they currently are having their Black Friday sale. So you can check that out, you can hop on their site, there's a whole bunch of things discounted and all those things. Please note that if you do use my code, it's a little referral code and all this stuff, I do get money off of that, so take that into account, especially take that into account later in this video when I show you these amazing coins that I'm incredibly excited that they have back in stock, to the point that I got my hands on another set of them just in case they ever get out of stock again, primarily just to give away because they're cool. We'll talk about these later. But yes, this video is sponsored by Top Shelf Gamers, support the channel by, like, they don't pay for anything, they send me products, and I get a sponsorship link and all that. Links down below. With that, with that, and there's no promo code as there usually is, usually there's a promo code, you don't need to, it's Black Friday instead. But with that, let's go ahead and dive into the other things, and I should note, nothing else is sponsored over here. These other, this bag from Crafting Kingdoms, which we're heavily going to dive into various aspects of the things that it does, including my opinion of it from, like, using it for, like, three days, so take that into account. But I will have pros, cons, and all those things from what I've seen of it so far, uh, but nothing here is sponsored there. This is Crafting Kingdoms. In fact, let's go ahead and start off with this. This is a board game backpack or a board game bag from Crafting Kingdoms. I'll have a link to it down below. It's currently over on GameFound, and they, they've done um, Gloomhaven and Frosthaven playmats in the future, and their current campaign has, well, this bag, as well as a bunch of playmats, which I might showcase later. I don't know. I don't have the playmat yet. It's on its way, so we'll talk about that. But for right now, this bag is basically giving you another board game backpack option. Now, for longtime viewers of the show, you'll know that my go-to board game bag is the Board Game Tables bag, and I will actually talk about my opinion of the two compared and contrasted as, we, as we're done with this uh, showing what this one does. But let's go ahead and dive into it. This is a board game backpack, and it's a board game backpack that at some point during this video, I will go ahead and actually stand up and put it on but before we do that let's go ahead it's always a little harder dealing with these things from a sitting down position but let's show you what we have over here this is our board game backpack and you can store things in here in a variety of different ways the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and literally just unroll it and this is where you can actually do things like i'm not going to do this right now because i'm sitting down but this loops underneath to a little thing over there so you can hold this in place and you can have your whole board game library that you're bringing to your board game how dare i i don't want this this is no no you have to show the nice side of the box the nice, there we go, that's much better. Showing the nice side of the box over here, but you can have your whole stack of games, whatever it is you need to put in there, but more importantly, you have all the nice little sides of this backpack, and I'll show you all the things that does well, and I'll show you the uh, concerns I have with it as well, but you have anything from, you know, these bags to store components and or smaller games, so you'll have all of that in here. You have two of these small bags in the side pocket, and it's worth noting you could customize various aspects of this, so, you know, you can go ahead and customize the colors, or I believe you might be able to customize the artwork that goes here. I'm not sure. There are different options, there are different colors, by default, as well as you can pay a little more to get completely custom colors on what you want. You can check out those options in this little front pocket bag that I rolled down already. We have more bags over here. So again, you want to throw your little dice or your pencils for your rolling rights or whatever it is you need there or just that other game. And again, I'll talk about some of the pros and cons of this versus the uh, board game tables one when we're done over here. We have more pockets on the inside over here, just more interior pockets where you can store different things, little mesh stuff, just pockets galore. This bag is all full of various customizations and the ways you can add to it. Should we, should we close it up? I think I'll close it up because I do want to go ahead and show you a few other things about it. But we can set it ready. We have the stuff on the front. We have the larger side pocket. So on this side over here, we're going to have a side pocket instead. This one has, you know, I don't know why I'm opening it. There's nothing in here. But one of the features I particularly like, one of the features I particularly like about this one, specifically for game night kind of situations, is we're going to show off this little uh, game mat holder. This is my Endless Winter game mat. Why Endless Winter? Because it's the first one I grabbed. But these loops on the side of the bag give you the opportunity to hold on to other things like game mats. So you can have this over here. You go ahead and just extend that, extend that. And now you have your Endless Winter game night that can be held, not as ideally if you're using it as a backpack. It still works. This will not, like if I pull this up, how can I do this? 
if I hold, well, you'll see in a second, I'll go ahead and put this on my back with the Endless Winter uh, thingy over there, but it won't actually fall out, uh, although I can't guarantee it won't fall out from like heavy walking around, although I think, I think it won't. It's a pretty secure pull as far as these things go. Just give it a little bit of pull and it should stay nicely. And for sure if you're using it on the sideway, which I'll show you that shortly. Let's go ahead and give it a bit of a, a lift. So let's go ahead and do this, pop it up. And my head will be out of frame for this part. It just is what it is. But popping this in over here. And we have our board game backpack. You see the Endless Winter Playmat is like sticking in pretty nicely over there. It holds pretty decently on your back. I will say, one of the things I cannot comment on, unfortunately, just the nature of having this backpack for a few days as opposed to years, is I can't comment on the weight support. I know that I've seen in the crowdfunding comments over on GameFound a bunch of people concerned that this is a weak point, the way this attaches. I'll show you that shortly. They've said it should hold the weight just fine. I can't say. I don't know. I mean, it might. It might not. I assume it will, but I haven't playtested how many years of this will hold up for. But yeah, there we go. You see, this is your, you probably can't hear me well right now, but that's what you have as far as the board game backpack, which means we can go ahead now and show you the other aspects because this holds, first of all, this is the thing you want to be mindful of. This has got some solid grit on the bottom, these rubber pads. Those do dig into your back a bit, not uncomfortably, but they hold it in place. And as well as when you're putting it differently. And then we can go ahead and do this part of things. Well, this is the part that I hope I select the games that go nicely on their side because there are different ways you can put those in. But it also has, it has different options for the way you might want to hold it. Whether you want side straps that extend to both sides of the bag over here on both sides, or whether you want to hold it more as an overhead, over your shoulder kind of bag, just holding it kind of like a big, more, more vertical, but just over one shoulder as opposed to a backpack. That's what you have. That's this board game backpack. It has different loops for your game mats. It has different pockets, all those different things. It has a whole bunch of things going on, but holds nicely as far as giving you those games, giving you those games, as far as just holding the games that you need and doing so in a, well, reasonable fashion. As far as opinion on this thing, from what I've seen so far, more particularly, is this going to replace my board game tables backpack? That's a good question. My board game tables bag. And the answer is a medium, meaning... I'm a big fan of my board game tables bag, and I still am a big fan of my board game tables bag. I think this one over here, I think this Crafting Kingdoms bag, where are my games stored? How are they stored? They're stored like this, so we're going to go ahead and put this down. I'm just going to put this off to the side so it's not present in the whole video. But as far as will I use this more than my board game tables bag, I think it depends on the use case. For me, if I'm traveling to Canada, but where I say Canada because I usually go visit my family there, and I'm bringing you some board games for the weekend, I think the board game tables bag is simpler and more to the point, and it likely will still be my go-to for something like that. This for me is much more of a game night bag. Even just the fact that you can carry the playmat or smaller pockets, and those smaller pockets are a big deal. One of the things I do struggle with with my board game tables bag is I get all my big games in just fine, but then all the side things kind of don't go in quite as nicely, and this will solve for that. So I think there are pros and cons to the different bags. I think this one, I'm very happy to have this one, but I think it's gonna be a mix as far as which ones I use and which situations. Playmats for sure, Anything with a playmat makes this an easy win. The fact that you don't have to separately carry your playmat, it just it just makes it an easy win for that kind of situation. So I think this is more of a game night backpack to me, something I'm traveling more short term, as opposed to the simplicity of the board game tables backpack is something I'd probably use for like, hey, I'm going away for like, you know, the weekend or something like that, as opposed to a smaller trip. But that's basically the uh, Crafting Kingdoms backpack. You can check that out. I'll have a link to all the things down below. But that's over on GameFound. From there, let's show you these coins. These coins are coins that I've talked about in a prior video. The problem is when I talked about them last time, they were out of stock and I couldn't find where to get them. So I was like, these are the coolest coins ever, but also they were out of stock. And so I'm talking about them today again. But these coins over here, these are basically, well, officially these coins are meant to be for brass. Although when I say officially, what I just mean is if you go to Top Shelf Gamer, they're listed as coins for brass. Personally, I use these for Foundations of Rome. That's what I've been using these coins for. I don't use these for brass. I have iron clays for brass. But Foundations of Rome, which is a game that I, I love Foundations of Rome, I think that the premium production of Foundations of Rome stopped when it came to the metal coins. I think the metal coins of Foundations of Rome, frankly, are... They're not great. I don't want to use the term garbage, but I do want to use the term garbage. In comparison to the production value of Foundations of Rome, the coins aren't great. They're just really, really, really not great. These coins will cost you a decent penny. Uh, I think they're $60 officially for like Black Friday. They're like $48 or something like that, if I recall correctly. They're not cheap, but they are incredibly cool. This like, these are, 
If you have Foundations of Rome, I highly recommend getting these coins. I believe they will absolutely elevate your playing experience, granted by also adding $50 to the cost of your game. So take that into account. But then again, if you have Foundations of Rome, if you have Sun Drop Foundations of Rome, you're probably already paying quite a bit for it. But these coins over here, the big thing about these coins is that they feel good. They feel so good. They're, they're heavy. They're chunky. They they just they they have they have three different currencies: the one fives and tens. Is it one fives and tens? We have ones, threes. We have one threes, maybe one threes and fives. Maybe we have one threes and fives, which works well for finishes. Honestly, it might depend on the game. One three and five might be a little less than you want for some games. For these, and there's plenty of the fives by the way. There's plenty of them. But these over here, these are. I want to say. I'm pretty sure if this is true. I want to say these are the best metal coins I have in my collection. I have metal coins for a lot of games, and a lot of games have some very solid coins out there. I think these are the best metal coins I have in my collection. I just, that's just, yeah. I think they're incredibly, incredibly good as far as the production value, as far as how heavy they are. I think that if you're the kind of person who looks at them and says $50 for a bunch of metal coins for my game, I don't want those, don't get them. Absolutely. If you do pay for premium upgrades, this is, I think this will really elevate your Foundations of Rome experience. Obviously, you can use it for other games as well, but I think your Foundations of Rome experience will be severely elevated by getting this, by getting these coins. Which leads to my last thing over here. My last thing is more of a, just a general deluxe product, and it's been over here in the video the entire time. This is something that a fan of the channel actually got for me, and I'm incredibly grateful for that because I was planning on getting one myself, and so this saves me the, um, well, the cost and trouble of that, which this is a crokinole board. And for those, again, uh, for those of you who've been watching the channel for long enough, you may know that I have a coconut board already, and this is a, well, this is a nicer one. And I thought my last coconut board was nice as it was. Let's go ahead and show, let's go ahead and turn this over here so you can see the logo there. But this is a Tracy Crokinole board. Tracy Crokinole boards, okay, let's give, let's give a bit of a backstory here. Crokinole is one of the best games ever. It just is. We'll talk more about that at different points. Maybe I'll officially review it at some point. But Crokinole, to me, is one of the best games ever. I think it's an incredible experience. It's just really, 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 really good. And I think the biggest problem I've said about Crokinole in the past, the biggest complaint I have about it, is the fact that it's always good until you try a nicer board, and then your old board feels much worse by comparison, so you have to get the nicest board, which means Crokinole is a board, a game, you can get a $100 board, and it'll be a delightful experience. It'll be a great game. But if you play on a $200 board, your $100 board just won't feel quite as good anymore. And if you play on a $300 board, well, your $200 board won't feel quite as good anymore. And that's just how it works with Crokinole. It's, 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 it's a good game, but it's an expensive game. Although, again, $100 is totally fine. You'll get a good $100 board, and you'll enjoy your experience. I do think Crokinole plays best at 4. If you're playing Crokinole, if you've played it at 2, and you're like, not so much for me, you know what? For me, Crokinole, uh, uh, Crokinole is a two-player game. A 4 to 5, maybe even a 3.5. I like it, but I don't love it quite as much. Crokinole is a four-player experience. That's a straight-up 5 out of 5 for me. I think Crokinole is an amazing experience. Let's go ahead and try to let's move this a bit over here so you can see everything as far as that front shot goes. This is where I'm going to try to line up that shot, but nope, that was a bad shot. Did not get quite enough. See, the goal of Crokinole is to go ahead and get your shots into the middle zone, ideally. If you land a shot in the middle, you get 20 points. Over here, it's going to be 20. It's going to be 15, 10, and 5. So you're trying to get a perfect... Nope, that's not even remotely close. Yeah, that's closer. Let's try to get... There we go. See, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to knock a little shot from the edge into the center zone, being mindful of the resistance of the pieces, the resistance of the board, using dust ideally. That's not bad, actually. Two for four so far. Two for four on the shots. Let's get another shot in. Oh, so close, so close. You see, now you can try to get a ricochet shot in there. Nope, that was a terrible shot. Nope, that was a terrible. I got to get used to this, this board of those pieces. There you go. So the general idea is you're shooting these pieces back and forth, and there are teams, either teams or two players, and you're, the goal is to shoot into the middle, but that very quickly stops being the goal as soon as other players have pieces on the table. Because as soon as other players have pieces on the table, well, you have to hit their pieces off, because you're playing this back and forth where one player goes ahead, and again, they shoot their piece into the middle. Give me a second. Also, I may have visitors, because I hear some child coming downstairs, so we'll figure that out. But one player shoots it that way. Then you have another player who's trying to shoot from the edge of the board. I'm not going to be able to try. Let's pretend, let's pretend this is the situation over here. Hey, Rafiki. You want to come play the game? Come. Come play the game. I have my, my child visiting me. I love the red one. You want the red one? Yeah. Okay. So what you want to do is... Watch. You see? Look. We're going to shoot this over here. Can you go ahead and do it now? Now shoot it. Okay. Yep. Good job. Do it again with this one. Okay. Good job. Was that fun? Yeah. Okay, cool. Can you go upstairs and I'll be there in a minute? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll be upstairs in a minute. Okay, buddy? Ah. I'll see you soon. I'll do the red one. You want to do the red one? Yeah. Could I finish my video and then we'll do the red one soon? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, I'll see you. Go, go upstairs and I'll see you in two minutes, okay? Okay. Okay? I'll bring the board upstairs, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. You want to play it with me? Yeah. I'll bring it upstairs. I'll bring it on the big table. In so, 15 minutes? In five minutes. Okay. Anyways, Crokinole is a delightful experience, as evidenced by my uh, three-year-old wanting to play it as well. But the general idea, and him playing with this game is, well, we'll see. It's going to happen, because I told him it's going to happen. But Crokinole is a delightful experience of, of shooting pieces back and forth in a way that is just so ridiculously satisfying. Uh, Tracy Boys in particular, though, although it's the point of this video, Tracy Boys in particular, when I played... Jesse from Quackalope got a Tracy board last year, or this past year, and then I played a Tracy board for the first time, and I was like, I like my board, I really did, but my Tracy board, the, his Tracy board, just felt so much better. Just ridiculous, it's so much better as far as the general experience, the smoothness, you have some of the powder as well, you'll be just putting that down in different areas of the board, you can wax your board, you have different accessories you can get as far as keeping score and different things like that, but in general, the Tracy board is just... It made my fairly expensive, fairly premium board feel not quite as good. And so I was like, you know what? I can't justify it now, but I will get my hands on a Tracy board at some point. I just can't justify it because I already have a Crokinole board. I'm not going to like pay $350 because it is expensive. Although it might be Canadian, maybe. I'll have a link down below. You can check it out. But it's too expensive to justify right now. But I was like, I'm definitely going to get a Tracy board one day. Fast forward to uh, one of my subscribers who is, you know absolute prince of a person who sent me a crokinole board sent me this tracy crokinole, crokinole board got my logo stamped on it as well and just it's it's nice to have these are very very premium boards they are expensive again if you want to start cheap start with a mayday board it's a good way to get your feet wet and see if the game is for you but from there upgrading to a variety of different options out there the tracy board is one of the best options you can upgrade to at this point uh, i have like i think i have two friends who have this board i have this board i have no i know well, more than i have I have more than that. I have a bunch of people I know who have a Tracy board. They are delightful, and they are premium, and they are expensive, but they are worth it, if you like Crokinole, that is. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, because I hear my three-year-old coming back downstairs, so I'm going to wrap this up before the chaos continues. I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. I appreciate you watching and sitting through the chaos, and until next time, I hope you have a good one. You came back down? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You want to play? Yeah. Do you want to play down here? Or you want to play upstairs? Right down here. Down here? Okay. Yeah. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. Come. Okay. Okay. Come. Uh, I'll play the white ones. You want to play with the white ones or the red ones? Um, white ones. Okay. Now you can't touch this part, okay? You can only touch the pieces. The pieces. Okay, so you take a piece, put it on the edge, and shoot. Okay. Now red ones. No, I'm gonna shoot the red ones, you're gonna shoot the white ones. Okay, go ahead. Grab a piece and shoot. Good, good. You see, I'm gonna try to shoot in the middle. Ready? Oh. Okay, no, 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 no. Now you have to hit my piece. Okay, now I'm going to hit your piece. Ready? I'm going to knock your piece off the board. Okay, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'll play a hole. Miss. Mm -hmm. Try shooting at this piece. Try shooting. Good. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to knock your piece off, okay? Yeah. Ah, I missed. Your turn. Good job. Now I'm going to do it. Ready? Oh, there we go. Should I hit that piece? Yeah. Ready? It's gonna be hard. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Hey, my turn. My turn. Miss. You missed. <laughs> Let's try again. Let's try again. Yeah. Then the red one. Let's put them right there. Now I can hide them. <gasps> Good shot. Ready? Now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get mine in the middle. Okay. Ah, I missed. Your turn. Ah. Oh, you missed. I need more. You need more? Yeah. I need red ones. Do you need red ones too? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Your turn. I can <gasps> get this one. Oh, thank you. I can get 
the red one or the red one. Okay. The other two, these ones over here. I got the, this one. Two, two, three. Is this thing fun? You want something fun? Ready? You east? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, shoot. Mm, yeah. Good job. Now I have to hit your piece, okay? Ah, I missed. I want to do it. Okay, now my turn. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you want to shoot in the middle? Okay. Should I try to shoot in the middle for my my hide? Ready? So I'm going to try to get a hole in one. Okay, ready? Ready, ready? Let's try. And we have we have we have Ready? Look, look. Ta da! I want to do that. You want to do it? It's hard. It takes a lot of practice. Too hot. Oh, good job. Good job. Now it's my turn again? Yeah. Okay. Nope, I missed. Your turn. Okay. Miss. I hit the odds. That's your turn. Miss. And that's my turn. I miss. My turn? Are you shooting again? Yeah. Miss. Okay. Should I try to get in the middle? Yeah. I missed. I don't want to do Oh, you want me out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Wait. Missed. Are right, we all done now? I'll play a little more. A little more? Okay. Wait. Let me see if I can get it in. One second. Oh, I got it. This is my turn. Now it's your turn. Let's take this one out. Mm. Oh. Wait. I'm the your turn. Missed. Your turn. Missed. Missed. You want to move out of the way? Oh! I did it. You did it. Your turn. Missed. I moved these out of the way. Good idea. Here you go. Thank you. I hear me. Thank you. I hear, I hear you. Thank you. Uh, I hear you. Thank you. I, I hear me. Good job. You get the colors. Okay, we, then we're going to take two more shots each and then we're done, okay? Two more each. Go ahead. Okay. That's one. You want to do it again? Okay, you can do it again. Oh, Miss. oh, okay. Now my turn. <gasps> I'll do that. Now your turn. Oh. You're doing a little Miss. too hard. You do a little softer. Ta-da! I'll do this. Ta-da! 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 <laughs> Ta-da! <gasps> Almost! Ta-da! <laughs> Almost! Ta-da! Almost! I reach. You reach! I need more! You need more? Yeah. Mm. We're almost yeah. done. I said two more. Are we done to keep going? Okay, we're gonna be all done? Yeah. Okay, can you say bye everyone?